almost being in control for the end of the day. Well, and it's like, it's like, Bow, the only reason why we teach anything at MIC is because, dude, we've lived the dark side of it, right? Like, how many times did you leave open orders? You go take a shit, you go for a walk, maybe you're with your girlfriend, you're like, oh my God, I'm down $3,000 because I didn't cancel that order. Like, what the hell? Dude, seriously, man. And then when the, when the hours come, that's not your edge. So if, if it's a zombie hour and longs have the advantage, I size down. Yep. If you must trade during those times, size down. That's why canceling these orders is a good thing. So in the morning, you could be more aggressive if you're a short seller, or you could be more aggressive if you're long biased and these low floats are getting squeezed. Okay. So yeah, like, what, what was a really good example today? I'm trying to, let me go back to the main, the main ones I was looking at, like, like DPW was one this morning, right? ATNX. Look ATNX? At that shit. Let's talk about that. A O oh, ATNX. Yep. Yep. This was a really good example in the morning, man. Seriously with outer lines and, and the first hour dude catching those. Oh man. Crazy. Killed everybody. So the, the key to trading, man, these, so right now it seems like the market's back and all these shorts, early shorts are getting squeezed, but all these actions happening one day. So, you know, it's ATNX, man. It got squeezed in the morning and then it dropped and tanked down. So you can't just be holding stuff all day long anymore. Well, and like the last thing I ever want people to do about is like, even if the market heats back up, guys, I wouldn't just be holding long, man. When you see candles like this guy, these are indicative of a real big reversal that could come or is forming. And like, dude, with the entries these days, outer lines, man, this is what we talk about. Cause when you have a market that's really heating back up, what do you think is going to happen guys? It's going to have a little bit of horsepower. It's going to have a little stamina to it. So it's, it's like outer lines are nothing. And then if you need to wait for your major confirmations, right? Like death candles or stuff moves or not hitting the hot chick of the day. Like what was that one bow that went, I'm trying to remember, Oh, dude, it was, it was RHE, bro. You want to talk about that today? Cause you were trading that. I saw that. Um, that shit was I know you got, you got like locate to like the last second. It, it, and it was, um, dude, this was a pivot line player, bro. Yeah. Like, I, post, I post all my charts. Most of them, not all of them. I save, I save a bunch of them. I see guys only, but I wanted to post them on Twitter today to show you that, dude, we do this every single day, guys. And not only do I have these charts, our moderators have these same charts. Our members have the same charts, meaning the process works. It's repeatable. It's teachable. So just follow the process. And I have people who remember, uh, uh, talk. We have people joining MIC and, and trying to create their own fucking process, trying to create their own strategy. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> and Guys, then, don't reinvent the wheel. And then they come back and they go, oh, Bow, you're right. I'm like, no shit, dude. <laughs> you, mean, you, you, you have guys that are holding shit all day long just to break even on their stock, you know? Well, well, Bow, the thing I love this morning, man, is like you waited for the outer pivot. Bow was shorting guys right here at the 14 line because look what it coincides with. This is a market, again, that's heating back up. So you need that stamina. You need those initial pushes to outer line. He's hitting the outer pivot. He's locked up by zombie hour. This is the, this is the line for zombie hour. This is uh, predicated oh, on my chart. Yeah, dude, look what the hell happened. Get out short before zombie hours. Don't be stupid. Don't reinvent so the wheel. Time. Teach this. So look at the time. That's Make right sure here. Right here. Before zombie hour, dude. Yep. And look what happened after zombie hour. Dude, like, it, 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 it's like a love poem to our process. It's like we don't even have to prove it anymore, dude. My, my pull-out game is strong, Tosh. <laughs> <laughs> pull out before zombie hour, bro. What did you say again? What? Wait, what did you say that last part? You cut out. <laughs> my pull out game is strong. I pull out before zombie on Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, dude. No, no trader rogue babies for Bow. You do not want to overstay, baby. Uh, you do not want to overstay, man. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be real expensive for you. <laughs> Take a look, man. These are the rules that we talk about all the time, guys. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, man. Training, I'm telling you, man. Training is simple, guys. Doesn't mean it's easy. There's a huge distinction between simple and easy. Just keep it simple, stupid. Kiss, man. It's so simple. Just fucking do not break the fucking trend. Wait, if you are a short seller, wait for the stock to be broken. Short the bounces on the broken stock. If you are a long bias trader, the focus on stocks that the short are bent. Okay? So RHE would bent all morning. Every single dip got bought up. Things like that. And then when it reverses, then you stop trading. That's simple as that. Take a look at the VWAP. We call that deviation from VWAP. You know, this is a concept that's unique to MIC. And that's the best way to take a look at who's bent, who's stuck. And the more people that are stuck, the better it is for the other side. 
Well, Bell, let me let me say it like this, right? To all our trial guys, to all our new guys for this is maybe the first time you've ever been in MIC, how many communities have you been in? Where truthfully, man, you go into the video library, maybe you watch 20 videos, because I've been a part of them, and it's so ambiguous in nature. You honestly have no like the more you watch, the more you feel you need to watch because you just don't understand anything. And you're you know, I hate you know, I hate I hate this fucking A B C D shit. I fucking hate it. Where the fuck is A? Where is B? Where is C? They don't want to tell you. What they do is all those patterns are only good after the fact in hindsight. When they look bad, oh, there's A, there's B, there's C. And you're like, why can't that be B? Why can't that be C? You know, what about this stock? It didn't work out. Why, why is it A, B, C, D? Not there, right? And so with our concept, the lines, guys, support, resistance, and pivots, you know exactly where to enter, where to exit, man. We call that line. Well, it's real time. It's real time. It's happening. It's hitting the line as you're watching it. It's not an after the fact kind of thing. Dude, this ABC shit, I, I mean, fuck, man. <laughs> oh, look at balance here. What last time? Got somewhere else. I mean, so, I mean, when we talked, when we coined this lines concept, people started laughing. Now everybody's drawing lines and got rid of their moving averages and all that shit. Oh, you know what? You know why they started laughing? They started laughing for one reason. They thought it was so simple that we were stupid. Yep. They all, I don't care anybody laughing about the zombie movie right now. <laughs> when, when, when I get a new guy in here, when I get a trial guy where he's like, Tosh, this is my first day. I have no idea what to do. I say this. I, this is like the first thing I say to people. I try to get them on the over the phone because it's easier to say, but I say this. I say, brother, when you're brand new, please make me a promise. You only short broken stocks under VWAP when you're new. You only long very strong stocks making a move that pull back to support. Do not fight trends. Set a hard stop. That's 90% of trading. 90%. Guys, seriously, man, let's, let's do this, man. Guys are new, okay? Guys are new to trading. Well, you guys want to start over because they're losing. Keep it simple, stupid. Follow the simple, basic stuff, okay? Maybe we need, I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to say it, man. Um, we get a tap. Uh, watch and listen and stop the, the worst is FOMO man FOMO is what kills you this is what we talk about online shopping this is what this is what the tab program helps you with when you bored out of your mind talk to your tab learn some stuff do something yep. else you know I mean we joke about this but go to Pornhub if you have to right I mean it doesn't matter go to online shopping the yep. key is boredom is what kills traders get the hell out of the house keep guys. it simple man I'm telling you guys just keep it simple man when you don't have to trade every single thing that moves either. Wait for it for your setup. So when you're starting out, choose one strategy that you would like to be good at. Focus on that one strategy. And when you become, you know, like semi good, semi consistent, start looking for another strategy to learn alongside that. You know, don't just be a one trick pony, guys. Well, and, and another thing, guys, is like, dude, I, I promise you, man, like, like Bao just said, also like, like FOMO and ego, right? Like they go hand in hand. Don't come into MIC on a three-day trial and try to trade real money like Bao and then blow up and be like, Tosh, I blow up now. I can't join the community. Guys, just put the training wheels on. You've got to observe for like a couple weeks and see what we do. Don't rush in to do real money on setups you don't understand. Like, like, like learn the process, I man. Take a second, bro. You can trade the rest of your life, the next hundred years, but take a month, man, to get a feel for it. And then it like, obviously, like if you get an annual membership, dude, take the first couple months to fucking watch and listen. This, this thing about pisses me off, man. People want to start making doctor wages, but they, they don't want to sure. fucking, they want to learn and they want to make, start making uh, NFL player wages in fucking like the first week of trading. I mean, the amount of money we have is like fucking MF. We, we make it much as like a like a junior and NFL player, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's it, it, our brains bashed in, right? Bro, it's it's like walking into a doctor's office and say, "Hey, it's my first week. Let me operate on this brain." It's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, no. Well, you go, you can go you go to Mexico. You want a breast? Transplant. Well, yeah, maybe you can get away with it there, but but dude, I, I'm telling you, man, stop pull, pulling people's teeth out of their face when you're not a dentist yet. Like, I, I, I'm telling you, man, if you follow our plan, if you follow our strategy, follow, follow our process, and just be patient and learn, dude, I guarantee you guys that you guys will learn a lot, and most of you guys will make it. The problem is this: if you gamble, if you if you're trading big size before, and you're not stopping out, you're not using risk management, you're not using hard stop. Yep. You're shorting strong stock during zombie. Hour. You're breaking rules. You will fucking lose. There's no way around it. The guys that are consistent or the guys that follow the rules. Oh, yeah. And then when you become more experienced, then, yeah, do what the hell you want to do. But in the beginning, forming good habits is very key. Because, like, if you start out with bad habits, it's going to be – it will take you twice as long to unlearn the bad habits. 
So for anybody that, that heard my little rant on like what I say to new members on you should be focusing on broken stocks uh, for short and, and long stocks that are strong and then setting hard stops and not fighting trend. What do you think the whole chat room of 2000 plus members was focused on today? What do you think that we were focused on today? Letting the hot chicks CHMA and ATNX do their thing while we short DPW and Vero until these put in massive tops or did outer lines. Guys, that's the process. If you are overthinking this shit, good luck. Good luck. It's so simple. Here, guys, if you guys are, you haven't seen this yet, I'm going to post it again. This is the IG Live that I rented with Alex. So you should watch this, guys. This is a very good video. I love this one, man, because we break down the psychology of why people want get rich quick and why it actually doesn't work. And even the thing that I love that you said on this, Bow, dude, Bow is on one on this. And I love when Bow's on one because we get a really good rant is when he's got that edge is Bow was explaining, guys, even the guys that get lucky. So you invest in Dogecoin, right? And you get lucky, you make 10 grand, which is nothing compared to what you can do in trading. You make 10 grand. Guess what? Then you make maybe a hundred. You give it all back because you think you're king of the world and you're uneducated. Traders know how to make money and then we teach them how to keep that money. So go make a hundred on Dogecoin. You won't keep it. You won't keep it because you'll put it in all these other altcoins, Poo Coin and Come Rocket, and then you're dead. But you know what? Make your money, use it for education, and use that knowledge to start trading Dogecoin intelligently, not, yep. not Diamond Hands bullshit. Yep. What the fuck is Diamond Hands? Who the fuck got Diamond Hands? <laughs> Cubic zirconium hands, man. Poo coin. <laughs> so load up on poo coin. Uh, it's got like trade intelligently that you can trade anything. So I don't mind people trading Deutsche coin and stuff. It's it's just the people that are just fucking idiotic. Then they yeah. start to lecture people and think they're Warren Buffett, you know? Oh, yeah, dude. We're not knocking people making money on Dogecoin. We're knocking people throwing their life savings into it. Or uh, once they make people that think that they know what they're doing when Correct. they're and it sucks because then they, they're, they're getting all their friends to fucking just hold this shit. I got guys telling me it could be $5, $10. And this is the next Bitcoin. I mean, are you fucking, you even know what a fucking Dogecoin is? That's, you know, it's, it's, it's created to go to zero. That is what the inventor of the Dogecoin did. It's a joke coin. But for some reason, these celebrities like Elon Musk and stuff start pumping it. So, oh, yeah. Wow. Bow, dude, I, I, I gave a webinar two days ago, guys, for anybody who rem remembers on Monday, because I do obsessive research about anything. And bro, people don't even know what could potentially happen to Bitcoin. I'll just say it really quick because it's so entertaining. But dude, listen to this. Bitcoin mining is arguably one of the worst things for the environmental factors and global warming right now on the planet because of how much power consumption. What happens do you think when the fucking trailblazer for cryptocurrency and Dogecoin, Elon Musk, who's got a company named Tesla that's here to help the environment, what happens when that motherfucker drops out and then every major company is held accountable and liable for, dude, you're destroying the planet, Whole Foods, you better back out, Square, you better not adopt crypto. What do you think happens if that's a potential possibility? People don't even know what's going on behind closed doors. Dude. But dude, you know what? That's the thing. The education, guys, that's the key, man. You can create anything you want. You can start trading Pokemon cards. You can trade shit coin. You can fucking trade pet rocks. <laughs> pet rocks. Yeah. That's what it is, man. Don't you know <laughs> Dude, all cards on the table, like I suffer through massive FOMO, dude, not in trading, ironically, after all these years, but in life, right, dude, I, I told Bow and Alex, they're like, you dumb fuck, dude, I bought $14,000 worth of Pokemon cards this year, and it's already up to like 22000 I'm like, do I sell them? Like, <laughs> This means you got too much money, bro. I, I, dude, I got FOMO like, up right, the ass, right, bro. Right now, right now, it's, people have too much disposable income, those that do. And that's the problem. So, I mean, everything's because, I mean, the bull market has ran for 14 years, guys. I mean, shit, I, you can wake up one day, who the fuck knows, man? That's all I'm saying. And the person that gets hit are these overpriced NFTs, these cryptos that are pretty much, in my opinion, they have no intrinsic value whatsoever, except what they can sell it for to the next guy, you know? It's a game of hot potato, man. I'm holding endless Charizards, man. You want, who wants them? 22 grand going once, going twice. <laughs> Yo, maybe I'll unload my freaking Charizards on someone. But it's just a game, it's a game of hot potato, guys. The crypto, this and that. Just something that you don't know. So we're not uh, knocking the anybody. Doge thing is, Doge thing is, it's buy or rumor selling you. So, so Elon Musk is going on Saturday Night Live. That's why it's going up, so. Oh, dude, and he'll, he'll probably get doged over a dollar if he's on SNL talking about doge. But the thing is, is like, just 
we're not knocking people that make money on it. We're knocking people who make the dumb decisions, throw all their financial savings into it, and then complain if it goes down or make a lot of money and then invest in safe Mars and stuff that'll never go anywhere. And they don't put their money towards tangible assets that are going to help just, you I, or I, education. The rant I did is basically nothing new. It's a pink sheet, penny stock, pump and dump, Wolf of Wall Street shit. So once you go to prison soon, guys, I'm pretty sure the SEC is going to be fucking doing this shit, dude. They're not going to I mean, dude, it's going to come three, five years later, and everyone's going to get fucking hit, man. And then you don't pay fucking taxes out, you're going to prison too. <laughs> dude, how are they going to do, like, all the taxes on those decentralized applications like Trust Wallet and freaking Binance? That's why, that's why I think it's going to be some sort of regulation that's going to fuck the whole industry, or they're just going to ban it. Bro, Janet Yellen was saying 80% taxes, if they can figure out how to do it, 80% taxes on crypto investments. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the IRS is probably looking at what the fuck's going on. In the beginning, there was not enough money made in crypto for them to give a shit. Now, yeah, there's, now there is. There are trillions of dollars now at stake and billions in tax revenues that, you know, people are fucking not paying taxes on. Deutsche point coming up here, they're going to go, what the fuck? These guys well, are making- Because what you can do is like, dude, you can money launder with crypto. So guys that are making $100 million behind closed doors are buying <laughs> tangible <laughs> assets and then flipping them. <laughs> We won't teach them how to do that, but <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe maybe we'll hold that off for a member. <laughs> no, the original fucking intention for Bitcoin was Silk Road. It was to do illegal transactions in the fucking drug market, drugs and I, terrorism. I, I, man, I, was saying I participated, but I was there. It was it was a means to do money laundering and fucking illegal, fucking dark web shit. That's what <laughs> they were doing. Then all of a sudden, it got caught on, and then you know, then it exploded, but. Right now, it's still fucking sinister shit. Yeah, dude. It's. I mean, it, I'm sure they're going to start, you know, having you pay an Ethereum at your local rub and tug. Like, dude, it's dark shit, man. It's crazy stuff. So I, I just know the facts. That's all we're saying. Or yeah, you can invest in something that's proven for 100 years. Like- what, happened was, what happened was this, guys. I, I made a shit ton of money on penny stocks. Same exact thing, man. They'd pump a penny to a dollar, man. Nothing fucking new. Okay. Yep. Those guys went to fucking prison. They found the guys, and what they did was they regulated that fucking market to the point where I couldn't trade them. They regulated, the brokers couldn't trade it. It was just a shit show. So, you know what, man? Thank God I, I, I didn't rely on pump and dump. I was on a sheet, so I knew how to trade, and so I converted over to NASDAQ and listed stocks, you know? And so that's where we are today. But nothing new, man. You, got, you guys make your money, make sure that you fucking stay safe. And then start learning other things, man. Don't just fucking like think that the safe moon shit, sailor moon, I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's going to last forever. It's not going to last. No, Val just indirectly created a new cryptocurrency called sailor moon. <laughs> yeah. I might buy that one. That's just pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> the 14 year old in Val is coming alive again. Scam moon. So just know the facts, guys. That's all we're saying, man. You can either go pour your money into an investment that is something that's very volatile and not guaranteed. I'm not or- bashing that, guys. Make your fucking money. My whole point being is make your money, but then educate yourself. You can make more money if you're fucking educated. Bingo. That's what we're saying. Yep. Dude, I, I go with the I go where the, the probabilities are, man. The for sure things, man. And, and and something like the stock market and the and the psychology and the price action that we teach, guys, it's worked for a hundred years. It'll continue to work because you're playing against human emotion. And the number one thing that's prevalent in the stock market is human emotion. There's reasons for death candles and and breakouts and stuff, but like there's reasons behind these things that you guys can apply and learn. Cool. Any questions, guys? Let's let's go to the segment of questions. So yep. Let's open this up to some questions. Oh man, I'm so stoked the market is heating back, dude. Like really, it's it's so much easier when you have eight plays because yeah, when one takes all the attention from the others, it's just so yeah. much easier. R-H-E, fuck, I didn't watch it, man. Fuck. I don't have any shorts. R-H-E is not under VWAP. So this is going to be a good low-hanging fruit tomorrow on the outer lines. So this might be mimicking BTX. So be careful, guys. Yep. Yeah, be careful those after-hours run-ups. You see those, guys. Be, be seriously careful. Um, should we just focus on one setup? What do you think, Val? You, when you first start out, focus on one, become good at it, and then you branch out. Do not just stick to one setup. That I got guys in MSC that are very good traders, but they don't, they only know one setup, and then they're sitting around. I mean, what are you doing? You're wasting time sitting around, right? Yep. Learn, 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 learn new shit. The more tools you have in the toolbox, the better it is. 
Dude, you should, you should be learning everything in my opinion, but you should be focusing on, you know, obviously if you're trading, whether it's SIM trading or real money trading, the one that feels the most comfortable and the one that relates to you and the one where you actually start seeing results. And once you start seeing those results, guys, really maximize and capitalize on building bankroll and then venturing out with real money. But you should be learning everything. I mean, dude, we've got a video library on everything you could think of in trading outside of What's Forex. In the most, <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> this is the most piker fucking trade. <laughs> Dude, you at the top. I top took that shit and hold it. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I made like, is that, that was that 60 cents I made. <laughs> oh my God, Val, you literally had the freaking 24 line, dude. Oh my God, practically. Jeez. Oh, dude. But you know, it was so over VWAP and three o'clock is coming. And we we're doing this webinar. I was like, I'm not gonna fuck around, dude. I mean, if, if this thing ran to 50 bucks, I'd be killing myself, right? Yeah, the deviation's ugly, bro. It, it was still way over view up. I mean, dude, it was it was at least five dollars over view up. That's just too dangerous to play with. Yeah, so it's like you know, some of these guys. It is what it is, man. You play with. This is why I said when you break a rule, when you break a rule, you will most of the time, often, win only the minimum. When you lose breaking a rule, you most of the time, often. We'll lose the maximum. This is a prime example. I broke a rule shoring the front side, tried to cherry top the top. I made a fucking 60 cents. If I was wrong, I would have lost fucking six bucks. You know, who knows, right? Right. right. Yeah, this thing could have easily gone back up to like 28, right? Yeah, absolutely. So that's my, that's my hope to you. This is, a, this is fucking proof. I tried to cherry pick this and I, I thought it was a nice 60 cent move. And look at this. This is the fucking piker move. Dude, you see, you see how polished we were, man? If Val was trying to hide this chart, then you know he's showing you his worst trade of the day, dude. Like, this is who we are, man. We're just doing, like, we're just normal dudes just trying to make you guys better. We make mistakes all the freaking time, dude. You kidding me? But the thing was, that was my plan. My plan was to make the expected move, which it worked. You know, I was not planning to fucking hold an all day fair on that shit. Yeah, no, you'd be crazy so, to do so. So when, when you expand it out like two hours later, of course, it looks like I, I, I piked it. But at that time, it was a fucking good trade. <laughs> oh, this is a good question. Bobby, there's no watch list equivalent for longing small caps. How can we get um, a quick plan each day? So here's the thing, Bobby, once you understand about our watch list, like if I go to the watch list real quick, just to give you guys an example. Alex talks because he's more of a short seller, but dude, he talks in a way where you can reverse engineer. And not only that, he will tell you the ones where if they are a hot chick, these are the ones you need to be focused on long. These are not the ones you need to be focusing on short. So once you learn our lingo, I promise you, bro, it makes more sense. And it's actually written for longs and shorts, not just shorts. I promise you. And we also within the chat room in real time, tell you which one of the hot chicks. Yep. yep, which is our main trading chat for small caps. So you'll have every single mod in here, guys, and you'll have our long bias mod specifically. So like Aloha Trader, or as Tay was saying, like Harry Haas, they're talking about which one they're wanting along. So when you incorporate every tool we have in that order, you know, start the day with the watch list, go in the main trading chat, get a feel in the open what, what you know, the long moderators are looking for, what the short moderators are looking for, and then we all apply it together. You're going to really understand this. Yep, and then we, when we, we warn people, I warn people all that, do not short, do not short. That's a good indication of, hey, take a look at this. It might be a good long. Yep, yep. No, we cater to both sides, man. We really do. So and, I don't want you guys to think. Guys, and also, guys, where we tell you where I enter the short, where the lines are for the shorts that you know, watch this, that is often a good area to sell your long position. I couldn't agree more. So How far back does your watch list storage remember, go? Remember, guys, lines are lines. It doesn't matter whether the fuck you're short or long. A line is a line. Resistance is a resistance. A support is a support. Yep. Oh, I think I skipped over a question. Um, is there ever a time where you think a stock is too deviated from VWAP? Not that you would short, but where you'd expect the big retracement back to VWAP. Val, what do you think? Um, when it's way, way over. And then, so that's, that's when you go, shit, I'm not going to go long anymore. Let's say it's way over. I'm not gonna go long anymore because the drop is too much. It's just too overcrowded. It's too overextended. There is a point of that. And how you know that, I take a look at my lines. I draw my lines. How far am I away from the next support down? Because if I'm fucking wrong, I need to be able to stop out, okay? So you have to go line to line, support to support. So if I'm in the middle and the next support is $5 down, I'm fucked. I'm not gonna be touching that shit at the high. Because what happens when it parabolics, okay? When it parabolics, it starts to skip 50 cents a dollar, stuff like that. 
And each one of those dollars is not going to be support anymore because it skipped right over it. Yeah, guys, the last thing you want to do is be like, oh my God, this is really getting some traction. Then you want to long at 25 right here when this thing is like a runner on a track. He's done his sprints, but now he's sprinting and his momentum and inertia is really speeding up this parabolic. Sometimes these massive runups have massive crashes back. So the last thing you want to do is chase at a FOMO and get excited of like, oh, dude, this is a super strong stock. Let me get in before everybody gets in and I'll sell at 35. And then boom, you're left holding the bag and you're selling at 18 near VWAP. Like that's the shit you don't want to get caught in. Uh, let's see. How far back does your watch list storage go? It actually goes back to every single day, but not in Slack chat, iMac. You'll have to be an annual or lifetime member, uh, and you're going to get what's access, what, what's called access to the MIC archive, in which case you can go back to any day over the last three years and replay that day. And What's that about? From the archive, let's say from that. Yeah, let me, let me just show you guys real quick. So if you go to the website, and you go to MIC Archive if you're signed in, and you're, you've got to be an annual or lifetime member to access this. Oh, shit, what the hell? Sign me out. One sec, let me just log in. You can try to look for a symbol as well. Yeah, let me, let me, let me show you guys real quick. This, dude, this is, this is so cool, man. I'm, I'm obsessed with the Archive, dude. I, so I love this thing. So There's two things that make, make MIC totally different than everybody else, okay? The fact that we have an archive, a searchable archive, that no one has. I mean, dude, this is huge. Okay. You imagine right now, MIC is only three years old. You, you know how much data we have already three years old. That you dude, can let's go back. Bell, let's go to a day. Like I'll pick a random ass day. Let's go to 2019. Dude, July 18th, 2019. If you go or here, we'll pick, um, yep. Let's see. Oh, main trading chat was down here somewhere. Huh? I'm trying to find it. Cause it's, it used to be that. Oh, I'll just go to after hours for a second. But as you guys can see, all the channels are saved. And dude, this is a backup of that day in 2019, bro, literally. And we have all the channels for that. So then you guys can go into something like the community voted folder and go to technical analysis. Check this out. Yeah, go the first day, first week. I forgot yeah. What it was. <laughs> yeah, right. Like literally, I just realized that. I just realized that's crazy. But here, hold on. Let me go to technical. It's got to load for a second. So we have a searchable text archive on post within the chat room. We also have a searchable video library. That is what's huge, guys. I'm telling you guys right now. Other places have a thousand videos, but you can't fucking search. You can't fucking do shit. You have to watch them all. You don't know where the hell it is. So we actually have tags, guys, that you can go back and search videos. That's Dude, huge. Look at this. Val, you're on crack this day on freaking February 3rd, 2021. You guys can go back. I've been forgetting, man. Dude, look at all this endless example stuff moves. This day I was shorting in the morning. Then once uh, zombie hour came, I longed it. Like, dude, I'm telling you, man, we have endless chart example, endless everything you need. Of uh, there's so many ways to learn, dude. This is this is huge, guys. Oh my god, the first day. That's funny. Where did we start? August. August. Uh, I don't have to go back. 2018, right? Jeez, man. Gee, August 17th, 2018, I think. I still had a lot of hair back then. <laughs> Dude, you stole a full head of hair. Get out of here. Let's see. Where's the main trading chat though? I forgot because like I, I think we changed it since then. So, oh, there it is. It's at the bottom. No, nope, uh, it wasn't. What was the first day? Was it Monday? Well, I all I know is this this is like a this is like the not not like the first two months we've been open, guys, because obviously we created this in MIC. So it wasn't like the first day of MIC, but you can go back like two and a half years. So go I look at the uh, Yeah, we started developing this after. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm like, let's go back to the first day, but we didn't even create the MIC archive until like three or four months in. But that's that's what that is. So if you guys want to upgrade and get access to that, I promise you, you're going to love it, man. It's just another exclusive feature for annuals and lifetime members. We have so much coming in the next couple of years, dude. You guys be crazy not to go with the cheap price that it is right now. Just DM me, man. I'll get you a deal. Friday, we are price raising annual officially. Last last time I'm warning you guys, because I know I'm going to get people next week and they'll be like, shit. I should have done it. I knew you said it, but I should have done it. I'm going to be like, dude, I fucking told you. All it takes is one trade, guys, to pay your freaking membership. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Right off the watch list usually as well. That's, that's how you, you know, that's, that's how you do it too. So watch list can be used in two ways, guys. One is pretty much to make money. You know, you follow the plan, you can make money. It's pretty damn accurate. Uh, uh, the problem with the watch list is this, is the user, you will have fucking FOMO. 
don't fucking enter early. And sometimes what happens is this, it may never hit the prices that's in the watch list. So you have to really use your own strategies on how to scale and stuff you want, or just copy verbatim. And number two is to use the watch list as an educational tool to come up with education on how Alex came over the line or how these other moderators came over the line. So how they formulate these ideas, you learn a lot from them. Okay, and then you can start creating your own watch list and compare it to their watch list. Dude, seriously, seriously. I mean, no one does this shit, man. I just don't get it, man. People just want to get rich quick. They Guys, to- check, check, check your email. Check, DM me if you want to get it. If you're not in MIC, literally this is the last day you can get a free trial for three days. Dude, uh, like if you, do, if you sleep on that, you're, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind, bro. You're going to get full access for three days to what we have to offer to see if it's for you. I'm telling you, if you don't join our free trial or, or you've been in it a couple days and you really like it and then you actually become a man, you just don't want to be a trader. We've got everything you need. And I know I, I, know I sound biased because obviously I, I helped create MIC, but it's not that, dude. It's just look at, look at what people say. Read our testimonials. Oh, like, talk to them. I, I cover the spooking ready. Basically, when they, you see a giant ass bid, I mean, someone's trying to push this up to sell on the offer. I'll scroll right. Because if they really want to fucking hold this shit, they wouldn't be showing size. Let me show you what Val's talking about, guys. Uh, as he posted this earlier, I know he did it a lot earlier. I'm trying to find it. Yep, see this? What, why do you think that they would do that? Why do you think that they would show that kind of size? 231,000 shares. Yep. There's a reason for that. They're trying to bully it. They're trying to scare you. They are trying to push the stock up to sell on the offer. If someone wanted to buy and accumulate, they would hide shares. They would show their cards. This is a bluff. I mean, but it, so, but it, the bluff works. It ran all the way up. But, but notice how quickly it tanked once he left. Yep. On the chart. So bring up that chart. PRPO. Look at that death count. Yep. On it. Right here. Yeah, that's, that's what it is, man. When it, we call that stair step up. What's that? Elevator down? Elevator down, baby. It just fucking tripped and fell down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. The bigger the up, the harder the fall. All right, let's see. Any more questions? Uh, nope, just got the, the chat rooms are in there. They did ban me from the chat room, so I need to get back in somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All the chat rooms have snipped out now. <laughs> That's funny. Once you learn the MIC process, you'll learn how to make your own watch list and lines in the morning, then compare them to Alex and Tom's watch list. The more you do this over time, the more you'll line up with theirs. That's when the light bulb comes on. Brock, you couldn't have said it any better. And shockingly, Brock's a lifetime member. So he probably has been in here for a while and learned that. Dude, it's, it, it, there, there's literally no secret sauce to this, guys. Just join and learn and then take it day by day. And what oh, you're going to notice. Talk about the webinars, Tosh, again. I'm kind of tired of talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, yeah, let me. Let me go to the website. One sec. This is huge, guys. This is, no one does this, man. My MIC. You're going to go to the My MIC Hub right here. And what you're going to see is our content structure. So Mondays, Alex does a YouTube Live. Bao does his walk in, in you know, in, outside around, around the, little, the little pond with the zombie ducks. He does an IG Live on psychology. I'm here with you on Wednesdays. Bao's almost here every single Wednesday with me. Aloha traders got Thursdays and then dude, every now and then on something like Fridays, which is kind of like a free for all that will do a daily live recap, dude, where he'll show you guys how to do all this like live in the mornings. Like, so you just, you're always going to get content. We inundate you with content because not only are you going to learn that way, you're going to take action and apply it with confidence that way. And simultaneously, we want you guys to not have outdated bullshit. We want you guys to know every single week what is hot and why it's hot and what you need to apply in your own trading. We don't want you watching 10-year-old DVDs that don't work, dude. We want you guys to feel like you have DVDs every single week too, where you're like, oh, this is what's happening in the market now. Not what happened. Dude, let me, let me point, paint a picture for you. Seven years ago, when I first started trading and shorting, mind you, I I shorted probably a year and a half in. So basically six years ago, dude, six years ago, stocks did not zombie like they do now. You could almost short and just fucking hold. So what I mean by that is there are things called the zombie rule. Now there's things called reversal hour, which we teach. There's things called, you know, garbage hour, power hour, whatever you want to call the last day. There's reasons why they squeeze. Dude, there are squeezers left and right zombies, and you have to understand why. So this is why we teach this. Market conditions are always changing. Does that mean the patterns don't work? No. 
What it means though, is you have to finesse a little bit of your entries and exits based on the fundamental changes of these patterns shifting. They never change because they're based on psychology, but the shifting of entries and exits will subtly change and you have to be more disciplined. You have to sit on hands longer. You have to be a little bit quicker with nail and bail. I'll give you an example. Any single morning I see an SSR stock and it's easy to borrow, guys, I am not going to hold that more than I just want my washout. I want to do an outer line. I want my washout. I'm done. You need to understand this shit or you're just going to hold and hope on something that you should not be holding and hoping on. Does that make sense? SSR and ETB, I am nailing and bailing at best. Friday action, I'm nailing and bailing at best. Why? Because the odds are not in my favor to hold all day on a Friday or to hold an SSR or an ETB all day. Or if a stock has a ton of locates in the morning, like ETB or not ETB, but it's got a ton, what you can count on is many amateur short sellers getting squeezed to death and then all of these stocks making new highs and breaking you know, previous highs and breaking the pre-market highs and you're stopping out for a loss because you were what's called quote unquote too patient. Make sense? I'm winded. <laughs> we need to bring on Faye so she can start talking for us. Yeah, bring up Faye, man. Faye, you better be in here still. Don't tell me you duck and dodge. She comes in for like 10 seconds. She gone. Who wants to come on so I can get off? <laughs> <laughs> me and Bauer, me and Bauer winded. I'm tired, man. Dude, anybody want to come on? Seriously. I'll bring, I'll bring on a member if you want to come on. Talk about your journey. Who's a lifetime member that wants to talk about their journey? I'm curious. Does anybody want to come on? I'll bring someone on. Let's talk about your journey, man. Or a new member, if you want to ask questions. I'll bring on a member because I don't know how to bring on non-members. <laughs> I'm, I'm invested in Zoom. I'm not a Zoom wizard, though. Bobby, you want to come on and talk about your escapades with Val and the freaking clothes, dude? I, I don't know if those are for public ears, though. <laughs> I want to hear about the 1942 Henny Wars. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> no, no way in San Jose. <laughs> get a mic, brother. Get a mic. Who's who's? I know people get shy, dude. Trust me, it's not it's no pressure. But if someone wants to come on, man, I'll bring you on. I do know people get shy, man. It's like it's like you're you're put on the spot. <laughs> Otherwise, cool guys. Yep. So oh, how about the special the promo stuff before we end? Yeah. So let's just recap just real quick and for all you guys who are. Up. Plug the webinar tomorrow that you guys have. Yep, right. yep. So for anybody who's just tuning in, I wanted to save this for the end. It's kind of like a recap on everything. Number one, uh, for the guys who just came in, I'm sure, you know, for the guys who've already heard this 10 times, I'm sorry, but we have done the three-day trial. Um, it's no strings attached, guys. It's three days in the club, access to almost everything, you know, all the stuff that the monthly guys get for three days. Uh, that link expires tonight. You, tomorrow, you will not be able to use that. Please use that by tonight or please don't DM me tomorrow about that. It's tonight. Um, if you guys want to get annual at the cheapest, it's ever going to be for the next years, literally years. Don't ask me. It's not going to be cheaper than this. I'm guaranteeing you because Alex and I have already talked about it. Yeah. Yep. Just you DM me. I'll, I'll get you in that. The reason why you're going to want to consider annual right now outside of the discount Alex is doing an exclusive webinar tomorrow. He went to Tulum for a week recently. He felt kind of bad that he was out of chat for a week and he's going to make it up to all the annual and lifetime members with a really, really, really banging webinar. Man. He's going to give everything. Time that you doing that? Uh, I think he's doing that at seven. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I think 7 PM Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, um, yes. Don't forget Loa's webinar. Yep. And then you got Aloha's webinar uh, on Thursdays, guys. So what we're going to do is, is we're just taking care of everybody, man. So the price raise is coming Friday. Definitely make sure you, you get in this webinar. Actually, let me, let me hold on one sec. So Aloha's webinar is at eight market time. Yeah. Hold on. Let's, let's go to the site. I think it's seven, right? There's overlap and then, uh, seven, seven, seven Aloha. So I think Alex is, I, I'm trying to remember what time his webinar is. Let's see if he's here. I think it's, um, well, he's got a webinar. So anybody that wants to see that or is upgrading the annual lifetime, guys, we'll get you all the details for that. But uh, you're definitely going to want to attend that. Yeah, he said it's seven, but that does conflict with Aloha. So what we're going to do is we'll have to change that time. Um, it was very spur of the moment because, like I said, he felt bad he was in Tulum. He wants to make it up to you guys. We've got so much on our plate right now, guys, with the trial and everything. We will figure out a perfect time. We'll get that to you. We'll make it public. But all the annual and lifetimes are going to get access to that. Um, and then simultaneously, man, just... I'm telling you, man, invest in your education, whether it be with, dude, just, just 
make sure you guys don't gamble all your money away yourself. And the guys that trade themselves and they're like, I don't need a chat room. I don't need anything like the accelerator course. And then they burn out because all they did was tread water for years and built bad habits. If this sounds like you, I'm not, I'm not trying to be brutal, but guys, come on. Dude, the accelerator is a must have guys. I mean, Dude. That, that's Dude. one cannot be cheap on guys. That will cut your learning curve tremendously. Tremendously. Text me if you have yeah, any questions just, about it. Watch anybody, ask anybody right now in chat that, that had it. Man, it just, you have to have it. Definitely, 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 man. Yep, yep. What I'll do is um, uh, Nick77. Did you want to come on real quick? Hold on, Bell. We might have a taker, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's see. He's shy. <laughs> Nick, let us know, man. If you don't want to, bro, it's all good. I understand that people get shy. But what, we could talk about your journey. Do it. Well, come on. It was shy. Two way? How about two way? Yep, you can, totally ask, you can totally ask your questions. Right. I can't do my, oh, okay, no, Mike, that's fine. Um, that is a thing. But yeah, dude, I mean, I'm telling you, man, we help people become profitable day traders every single day, dude. Um, I'll come on if you guys want to check out a trade of mine. Should we bring on Xander? Bring it on, man. Bro, Xander, what's your name under the participant? Is it the same as Xander? Hold on one sec. Yep, I see you, buddy. Let's bring you on, man. Are you a new trial guy? I think you're new. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, so, uh, my trade today so tell, was... Tell us who you are and all that good stuff, how long you've Oh, joined, yeah. All that. So basically, I joined late Thursday. Um, I came from another uh, well-known, you know, uh, guru. And okay. I mean, I didn't learn so much from him, but I learned from his students. And I was mainly trading OTCs. Um, but there was like no defined process with OTCs. So, and I, and like, that was my main struggle. Like I was doing all right at them, but I really just couldn't find a process. And ever since I learned about like MIC, I just, I just like loved it because I heard about all the mentors and how much they helped. And seriously, like I can literally DM any of you guys and you guys will respond like instantly. It's like literally amazing. And what I love so much about MIC is that there's literally a process that you just, you, all you have to do is just follow it to a T and you'll be successful. Dude, that's awesome, man. So you're seeing results, what, man. You're liking it. What have you been doing right now? So you've been studying it? Have you paper traded or you just jumped into a small size? What, what have you done? Yeah, what's well, your current journey? To, like just today, I just started like taking a little bit of trades. They're not like really meaningful. I mean, I've been studying a ton and I continue to plan on doing it for months until I finally get it. And then just keep studying even on after to improve my trading. But uh, I'm, I'm just real trading with very small size. That's what you should do, man, until you get comfortable. And yep. then you size up. So yeah. what crazy did, you, did you take today? Uh, let me pull up my Well, pull up your chart, man. Throw it out. Yeah, you, you, can, you can send screenshots in this channel, Xander, so we can take a look. At oh, them. okay. Definitely. Yeah, post them, man. We'd love to see. Cool. Dude, you're in high school right now? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a junior. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, Dude, Dude, awesome. right now? What's going on? I hope you're not dropping out. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. Um, like due to COVID, like we're on and off days. So. Oh, so, so you're you're in another Zoom link right now where you should be paying attention, but you're with us. No, no, no. <laughs> we go. To, we actually go to school some days, and then some days we just have no no school at all. So that's the days I like really focus on studying, and I actually go to school at like 6 a.m. two hours before it even starts, so I could trade. Oh my uh, God. The first, dude, the first 30 bad. minutes. You know what, you know what, Dan, you're going to be a fucking superstar. Oh, dude, dude. I, was, no, I was just going to say, this kid at 25, dude, is going to be insane. Dude, I, 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 this, is, this is the Dogecoin I'm buying. <laughs> I'm investing in the Xander coin. Xander coin. I'm Holy only shit, up. bro. <laughs> let me invest. All right, let me screenshot this. Oh, my God. Man. I'm so impressed, dude. It's 17, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that kind of late. or something, too, right? The, the twins? Yeah, twin one and twin two, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm friends with him. Well, you're they're same school? Uh no, no, no. Like I've known him for a while and we just actually funny story, like I I uh me and him were friends in two thousand nineteen and oh, then I kinda what? died down from trading and then came back full time in January. And 
I met him in at MIC and he noticed me. He was like, yo, I remember you. <laughs> oh my God, that's insane. Dude. And guys, you probably met him in the after hours because they're always talking in after hours, man. Wow. Yeah. That, that's that's crazy, sick. bro. That's crazy. Dude, that's awesome. I, lo I love that you guys reconnect. I, lo I love hearing this stuff, man. I just fucking love it, man. Because I've, I've been in every single chat room pretty much. Those those guys, they, they, this is a totally different environment, huh, Xander? I mean, this yeah. is a, this is like a real community. There's other guys are just pumping on fucking shit, dude. Yeah, you'll meet like-minded traders for sure, bro. Seriously. Yeah, here's my screenshot. So it was on CHMA. And I mean, I, I posted it in after hours and a couple of people helped me. And even uh, you, Bao, you posted uh, some some info about it. But I was playing it for a, a VWAP reclaim. And I just I had literally just watched uh, Harry's VWAP reclaim video about how usually when it breaks VWAP, it has a stuck move. And then it comes, it comes back up and it squeezes the trap shorts. And so that's what I was thinking that consolidation was squeezing the, the shorts. And so I kind of got in on support there, but guys, like you, you guys have probably heard it today. Use hard stops. Like this is my second trade today. And I listened to them and I used a hard stop. Like here, let me post a closer screenshot. Dude, I don't hate this trade. Well, okay. After you do that, I'm going to post to you and explain to you what the exactly happened to CHMA. That, okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Here, let me so, show you guys why you need to use hard stops. It's, it was literally insane. So that's my entry and exit. I got in right at support. It was probably a little late. I probably should have gone in on the first dip. Um, but yeah, guys, I put in a hard stop for 415 and the limit order at 410. And literally, like, if you guys weren't watching this live, it cracked instantly, like, all the way down to the bottom. And my hard stop literally executed right there. Like so I was in a, I was in a small amount, but like it's, it, it was shocking. <laughs> yeah. So you basically got, basically got out alive. <laughs> yeah. Like if you were, if you were mentally doing this, there's no way you would have got that execution. You would have gotten out right at the bottom. Yep. So these, these plays, I really do not like for we, uh, for, for going long. Cause the reason I take a look at the, my chart that I talked about this, it's the, I call it an exhaustion. It came so far, bro, that there has to be some sort of profit taking. And that was the one I was banking on and, and it worked out for me. And then also you take a look at the time. It's too early in my opinion. Yeah. If, if, if I like the VWAP reclaims around like three o'clock or at the end of the day, short uh, panicking, things like that. So during this midday, it's a chop. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And so and I like short exhaustion moves. Where it yeah, came. well, from coming from OTCs, like usually, I mean, it's probably the same here, but like usually consolidation is like a time of like resetting, and so I thought that that might have made it okay, and like like gives the stock a rest and then to run again. So but, does that not apply you know what, here? Man, what you did was right because okay, there's two scenarios that could have played out, right? The scenario that played out that, that played out, I, I was right, but I could be wrong too. Yeah. And so if this had broken high of day, then it's a real trap. But what happened was this, it was still testing VWAP. It uh, ran all the way up and it's still testing whether or not it's going to hold VWAP. Yeah. Okay. Well, and, the, and the, like, Val, let me say the reason why I actually don't hate this trade whatsoever is because, like you said, when you watch the Harry videos, you're waiting for a reclaim of VWAP, a little bit of a stuff move to set up a consolidation support. Now, we were more short biased on this, Xander, but what you did, man, yeah. is you didn't long right here at the tip top. You, you right? did a good move. His, your trade was good, brother. I would give your trade a fucking A. Dude, seriously. And he set a hard stop. That's you why I'm so I'm telling you, man, a, a good trade doesn't mean you make money. Exactly. Exactly. It means that you had a fucking process and a good risk management and a plan. And the plan didn't work out, so it didn't work out. It was a good plan, bro. Dude, be, because now, awesome. look what he's risking to make. You know what I mean? Like, this. what if this went back to 470? Look what he's yeah, risking. Dude, is, what if, I would have been like, damn, I fucked up. <laughs> and then Jan yeah. was like, yeah, nailed it. But, yeah, and he's only risking, like, we like, both, like, yeah. We both had, we both had a plan. My plan was the opposite, which was basically it's going to go down because of exhaustion. This is VWAP reclaim. It's gonna trap shorts. You think both yeah. our plans, both our plans are valid. We at that time we have no clue what will happen with certainty, hundred percent. The only thing we could do is make our plan and set our risk. And we yeah. both set our risk. He did a hard stop, fucking perfectly. And that's why I would give him an A plus. After that's that. why we're giving him the A. Yep. yep. Awesome. Well, uh, someone actually like I posted this asking like why it failed or and stuff. And someone actually said like 
part of the reason might have been like trapped lungs in the morning action. And so is that a thing or all, and let also me, like yeah, if the me, morning action was like less playable. Let me, bring it up. let me bring it up and then I'll show you. All right. So I call that exhaustion. And then um, here is the, uh, so I pull up a volume profile. Yeah, pay attention to this, Xander. I think this could help you a lot, the volume profile thing. Oh. So what happened is, you can't really tell. This is ambiguous. Mm. Because the profile is pretty spread apart, so that you can't really tell. Yeah. So this is a, it, it, at that point, is a coin flip, but I would choose mine over yours because of the exhaustion. Exhaustion. It came yeah. far. It has to, there, there's any little blip, someone's going to fucking take their profits. Yeah, I totally understand that. The exhaustion also with the tops that were put in, right? Like my computer's kind of freezing right now, but um, right here, like this is why Bao was shorting the, the, you know, that 430 line again, because these yeah. previous tops Xander. So it's not as clean as a setup as you want, but again, dude, we're not knocking you on the, on the trade, man, because yeah. you waited for a VWAP reclaim, did your little consolidation point after the mini stuff and you got in with a hard stop, bro. I mean, here's the thing Bao talks about all the time. You can trade anything as long as you predefine your risk, bro. You predefine your risk. You lost almost nothing. And that's what it's all about, man. You're not going to win every trade. Yeah. Especially like I literally just started. So I'm, I'm expecting to do everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, wait, dude. That's good. Man, you can do everything wrong as long as you have the hard stop in. You're yeah. Good. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. Well, and remember what Bao said with the volume profile, right? So these volume bars are indicative of where the volume stuck. If the volume bars were insane above here, I wouldn't have mm. been so generous with like the with like an A plus for this chart, right? Because you know all the volume stuck. You have a really hard time breaking this resistance of this 430 line, 440, and going on to a you know a break of pre-market highs near 460 and, and and onward. But because this is very spread out, I mean you did have a chance of this squeezing Bao out of his position and then it going. But but because it didn't, one of you obviously have to lose. And did you cut your losses quick? You can't hate this trade. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep. I'm telling you, man. It's one of these uh, these ambiguous trades. They've gone either way. But yep. next thing you see a giant move like this, uh, exhaustion, uh, you know, I just kind of like, <laughs> well, you did right, man. You really don't know. It could have bounced off VWAP as well. It could have just fucking squeezed up. So who knows? Yeah, well, my plan was, I mean, since since I just started trading, like, my plan was just to sell as soon, like, the sec first or second green candle out of this. But would you guys recommend holding past high day? No, nah, I would reduce some of each resistance line. Reduce for sure. Yeah, yeah. Eat the resistance. That's what you got to pay yourself. There are other traders out there that say, go for the fucking home run. And you can mm -hmm. make a 25 I mean, it's, it's your style. I mean, to be honest, it's up to you. You can use what's also called a trailing stop, move your trailing stop up. As yeah. Well. So, I mean, there's many ways. I am a control freak, guys. So, I like to take my fucking lane. I, I oversize a little bit so I think I can, so that I can exit earlier and still make my gains. <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to be over two decades. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be a quick profit taker in the future. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. As long as you get a little bit better on something each day or you learn something new, Xander, and you protect your account in the process, bro, what more can you ask for, man? You're dude, yeah. how, seriously, bro, you're 17 years old, man. You're <laughs> two years, bro. I, I, my, can... whole, my whole thing with taking the games like I do at resistance lines and stuff is, is the fact that you're building right now your smaller accounts. And then when yeah. you, you get more experience and you take more risk, right now it's you know, it's really more safe in my opinion. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I love that. But I like the hard stop, man. That's why I'm giving it an A because the hard stop. Remember, guys, it doesn't matter if you win or you lose on the trade as long as you fucking follow your plan. It's a valid plan. Dude, yeah, we, we, we just hate you because you're making all us old heads look really bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's starting to, like, he's putting in the work and freaking 17 has been trading since like 13, dude. It's insane. And, and guys, <laughs> if, if you DM me and I scream at you about stupid shit or I scream at you all don't take it personally, guys. This is just, you know, like, if you're asking me a dumbass question, which Xander did not, but the other guys are asking me questions like you can Google, I will scream at you sometimes. Because he's <laughs> kind of like, uh, respect our time. Yeah. Uh, don't use us as Google. Don't use us because we're lazy. Makes sense? That's, that's what I'm saying. Learning, the best way to learn is for you to seek the answers yourself. If you cannot, like this example that Xander asked, like, why did it tank? No one would know unless it's experience. And so you ask a valid question to ask myself. And I think yep. I posted I posted that in um, to everybody as well, right? Someone asked yeah. the same question. Yep. So let me let me try to find it. Let me post it again.
Yeah, guys, if it, if it sounds really easy to answer, man, I mean, dude, we got, we got a lot of members now. We got a lot of back end work. You know what I mean? Just Google it real quick. And if you can't find it in Google, yeah. then DM hey. us. So let me, let me show you uh, what, what I, uh, so Peck had the same exact question. So he DM me. And so I, I replied and I also posted for everybody to see. So this, remember your question can be, it's helpful to a thousand other people. So don't forget that guys. So ask them after hours, ask me, I will post the answers because I instead of me answering a hundred people, the same thing. I love to share with everybody. Because, because it's going to help a lot of people on a mass scale. And guys, remember, at the end of the day, keep everything as simple as you can. The reason, Xander, why we do like this more as a short, like we said, the volume profile was a little spread out. But the reason always, you can, you can, you can, you can, we read, 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 posted. So I think it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, Bao, uh, what gave you confidence to enter this trade since it, since it reclaimed VWAP? Was it 423 risk pivot on the left? Thanks. Please reply when you have time. Bao goes lines. It ran huge to get to VWAP exhaustion profit taking. I talk about this exhaustion move a lot. If you are an existing member, the move back to VWAP was, was, was big. So, profit takers come. If the move was small, I would not take the trade. And what, what I was saying was, is at the end of the day, guys, keep everything as simple as possible. The acronym is KISS. When a stock makes a big move into a big resistance, you're less likely to win on the long. Mm, yep. And that's and that's what I call the first resistance. Correct. So first resistance is like the first bounce. So the first major resistance that you see usually is the VWAP area. Correct. Keep it as simple as possible, man. Every time you get in a trade, evaluate everything, but keep it simple. Did it make a big move off lows and it's running into a ceiling here? You have a little bit less odds on the edge of the, sh of the long. Maybe it's a short. Versus this, guys. Okay, so there's a distinction between running up into that exhaustion move and getting rejection like you see here and a slow grinding move up. Do never, never, never short a slow grinding move. A slow grind move is a great long trade. Yep. Again, guys, where's your edge? And it's these subtle, it's these subtle variants that really present an edge or, and you can keep them all really simple. I promise you. Three minutes still closing. I think I should cancel my open orders. <laughs> <laughs> cancel open orders and I think we'll wrap this up. Xander, you're a legend, dude. Thanks for, hey, thanks for being brave enough to come on, man. I, I know that's not easy for a lot of people, seriously. Yeah, it's not too easy. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, kid. This is, this is my uh, this is my offer for everybody as well. When when the pandemic's over, when you guys can meet people, man, Xander, man, you can create a stock club. Your thing, we will fucking help you set it up. We will give you the resources to set up. We'll we'll sponsor it. Pizza meetings, whatever you guys. You can't have beer, obviously. You have maybe a fucking soda or some soda <laughs> party. But anybody out there, guys, anybody in your region, if you want to throw meetups, let us know. Yep, we will let us know. That. We will give you money to hold pizza parties. That's Dude, awesome. maybe maybe we'll pay you in Dogecoin or Ethereum. Oh gosh. <laughs> we'll have some fun, man. But I'm telling you right now, we're trying to build a community. We're trying to build a movement. Uh, so much beyond just what we try to make in our own PLs daily, guys. This is this is really a movement to make the best community possible. And Xander is just one of the best examples of this, man. So reach out to us, guys. Seriously, we will we will sponsor you. Yeah, I mean, guys, take advantage. Take full advantage, like uh, like they have so many things, so many options that you guys just take advantage of all of them. Xander, I made a lot of money today, but this, you, that, you you took the cake, man. You made my day, bro. <laughs> Seriously, bro. <laughs> you guys too. You guys too. I mean, just hearing just hearing the excitement in a young kid. I mean, this is what we do. What we do, man. Seriously, I'm like, holy shit, dude. This is this is exactly why we do what we do. It's a good reminder, man. It really is. So, guys, we got the price raise coming Friday. Trial ends tonight to get access to that um, d major discount on annual that will not last. Um, Alex is doing the webinar at the end of the week. Dude, we're, we got so much going on, man. Hit me up, dude. Text my line. I'll get you started with everything, guys. Sounds awesome good. job. Bao, thanks for coming on. Xander, thanks for coming on. And we'll yeah, do thank it. you, guys. We'll, we'll do it next week, every Wednesday, baby. <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm so sorry, guys. Actually, next week, I am out of town. This is the first week I'm actually going to miss. I'm taking a week off for the first time in three years. I will be uh, away from computers for the first time ever. So next week, unless no Bow wants to do it. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, yep, yep, yep. So yeah, give me that much time off. <laughs> I mean, finally finally dude we we don't believe in days off at mic but i was like dude i'm gonna kill myself unless i have one my body's gonna deteriorate so 
uh, uh, but I'll be good for like the next three years after that. So there, there might not be a webinar next week unless Joe has time, but um, we'll, we'll fucking double, we'll double it the following week, guys. But next week, I, 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 will, I will not be here. So I am sorry for that. <laughs> But dudes, you guys are awesome, and you know every Wednesday after that we will we will keep we will keep it coming, man. We'll keep the education coming. All right, guys. See you. Uh, see you the following week. See you guys. Thanks, guys.